I'm, uh, I've been a professional illustrator, painter, uh, for the last 63 years. And I worked most of my life with my twin brother, Tim. And we worked side by side on, on the work we did. My brother and I painted about 43 paintings uh, uh, based on The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit in the 1970s for Ballantine Books. Yeah, the three calendars that Tim and I did had a worldwide following for the art itself because it had never really been taken on by professional illustrators. Tim and I were the very first professional illustrators to take on the rings. We weren't aware of that. We were just fans of the book and we just wanted to illustrate it. We, we were passionate about doing this art. We just plunged into it like crazy. It was the first visual representation of the Lord of the Rings that hit home for the fans. Now, people have been fans of the Rings in, in, uh, in a huge way since the 1960s. It, it was just a huge trend that today, I mean, it was like the Star Wars of its time, literally the Star Wars of its time. And then by the time Tim and I got to illustrate in the 70s, it sort of waned. So, but when we brought these calendars out with Ballantyne, Ballantyne repackaged the rings in a three book set and released it with the first calendar, which this painting is in. And that calendar went through the ceiling. It sold like crazy. Tim and I got fan mail. We had never, we had a career that was like almost 30 years old already, and we had never got one fan letter. Suddenly they start to pour in. This painting is a painting of Galadriel, the elf queen. And of course, she's very uh, ethereal, magical, almost supernatural. And uh, this is something that Tim and I tried to convey with the lighting. You know, the, the, the ring of power that she possesses held high in her hand starts to emanate this glowing, this light that pours down, this warm light. And, uh, and we contrasted that against the blue sky, the starry night. And... I, I always saw her, as I painted her, as highly spiritual. That's what I was trying to convey with this image. And not only that, but all, all the, the Rings images that we did were, were kind of like in our minds, were very operatic. We were taking an operatic approach, grand opera. The palette that Tim and I chose to, to do this painting of Galadriel in is more subtle and earth tones and still, with a, we were after a magical quality, particularly because of the light. You know, her ring, which she holds high, and then the light emanates downward and softly lights up her garments. And these, these, this cloth is, to me, like part of the, the composition that elevates it. it. It's vertical. So she's arising. She's ascending. She's like a, a powerful figure, but... Uh, She's very attractive at the same time. I, I always saw her as a combination of Snow White and the Virgin Mary. And my mother, in a sense, that believer in mystery and magic and the soup, in God, in, in nature, it, it was just a beautiful, fantastic thing. My mother was more than likely the greatest influence in my life. She was a, a fantastic, powerful human being with a great imagination that she fostered in my brother and myself. My mother used to say to me all the time, and Tim, your imagination is the most valuable thing you possess. And she really worked at that. My mother would really constantly make Tim and me believe, well, look, at there's fairies living everywhere. It, it, you know, so we really believed in that whole fairy world. So for me, this illustrating the rings was, was my childhood coming to life.